Hi everyone, we continue upgrading our book library app and in this video we are going to add a search field so the librarian can look for a book in the table of many. First of all, let's open Web Interface Designer and add a search field in there. Let's open the books page. and drag the input string component into the left header. This is where we are going to build our search logic. All the business processes will be related to this component. So let's just open the workflow tab and see what we have here. Once the component is created, we want to have the search options to be updated too. So let's find the input string update properties block to see what it means. So, this options field here is pretty similar to what we have in select component, for example. But um, here, these are of a string type, and they will be suggested to the user when he types in the field. So, we want this to be populated with the title names, as we are going to have a search for titles. So, first of all, let's get the full list of books with the server request get book type of block. In the output, we have the array of book objects, but we need an array of title strings. So let's make a new one. Find the string array block and define a new variable with a set variable block. So, the new variable is defined. Then, to iterate with an array element, we can use the for each loop block. Let's pass the data array into the block. And in the loop body, we want to get title from each book object and add it into the string variable array we just defined. So, let's expand each of the book objects with expand book block. And get the title element from here and append it into the array we defined recently with append array block. In the output here, we have a string array, which has to be passed into the variable. So let's find another set variable block. And update the variable with its resulted value. So that's it, we have the list of our titles, and once the loop is completed, we need to update our string field properties. Provide the values from string array variable into the options field here. Don't forget to specify component ID. So, this was the preparation part for our business logic. Then, when the user types a word into the field, we want to compare the value from this field with each book title we have in our database. And if the titles are matched, we want to update our table data with the corresponding book object. The trigger we need for this logic is on change trigger. First of all, we need to get a list of titles. As you remember, we already have it in our component in options field as the component is created. So we can just search for input string get properties block. And get the options array from here. Don't forget to specify components ID. So the value 
from input string component has to be checked with each item of the options array. We don't need to iterate within all elements of the array as we have already a special block for this called in array. If the value from input string component is in the array of titles, so if that is actually true, we need to get the book data for this particular title. In order to do this, we need server request get book block. And to search for a specific book, we need to provide a title in here. In the output, we have a data, which is actually just an array of a single element. And this data from output should be passed into table update data block. Specify the component ID to see the data field. So that's it. Let's save everything. and publish our application. Open the published application. And navigate to the books section. We have our search field here. So let's search for a book. As you can see, as I'm typing the letter here, the suggested options appear. So for example, let's select LSS Adventure in Wonderland book and the book table is updated with a particular book.